Brace yourself, for these are the emotions people go through when the stock market is starting to become a bear market. It can all be gone. 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 Why? 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 Just think of the deals. Yay! <laughs> Well, that was a little over dramatic, but in all reality, the stock market is a roller coaster and it has its ups and it has its downs. Just like a roller coaster, it brings out the fear, the anxiety, the excitement, the anger. Okay, a roller coaster doesn't really bring you anger unless you were forced onto it as a little kid and you were feeling like you were going to fall out of the seat. That didn't happen to me. Anyways, what I want to talk to you guys about today is my personal viewpoints on the market, what I'm seeing, how I'm interpreting it, and what I plan on doing and how it's affected my portfolio. But first, if you're new to the channel and are interested in wealth building strategies such as stock market investing and want to see me build my portfolio from scratch and build it over time, please consider subscribing to my channel by hitting that subscribe button down below. Also, if you have any questions, just leave a comment as well. Oh, and one more thing, if you found that little skit at the very beginning of the video, somewhat funny, somewhat humorous, you got a little chuckle out of it, please consider smashing that like button. It helps me immensely. It helps me get recognized on YouTube. It helps other people find my content. With that, let's go ahead and start. Okay, so from what you could see on the screen, the market is not in the best of terms right now. This is a graph of the Dow Jones year to date. Down at the bottom, you could see that the Dow Jones year to date is down 12.34%. The S&P 500 is now on the screen. It is down 10.79%. Now the NASDAQ is on the screen and it is down 7% year to date. Now that we've seen the negative impact of all this bad information going around in the market, let's go ahead and talk about what this bad information is, why it's causing huge problems in a downward trend. Now, first, it all starts with a primer. What is this primer? So the primer is an illness. I'm not gonna say the word, but you know what it is. The reason why I don't want to say the word is because I've noticed a lot of larger YouTubers are not getting monetized because they say it or show it, which means that if I say it or show it, most likely my video won't be shown or be able to be found because YouTube won't push it. And you know, I want people like you to be able to see my content. So you know what I'm talking about? I'm just going to say illness. So with this illness, what is happening is governments are doing mandatory factory shutdowns in China. They're quarantine. People are freaking out. So they don't go out and buy things as much because they don't want to be around other people, which all of this just has one big impact on earnings. So company earnings are going to be massively affected by this. Employment as well is going to be massively impacted by this. Wages and income is going to be massively impacted by this illness. And the reason why is because, for example, a company like Apple, Apple gets most of their products from China. China does mandatory factory shutdowns. They also do quarantine so people can't actually go to work, which means that chips are not being produced, which means that phones aren't being produced. That means that people are not able to get the quantity of phones that they want, which affects the earnings of that company, such as Apple. Now, it affects the people from going to work as well, which means that even if the product was there, people wouldn't be able to buy it because they don't have the money. Okay, so as you can see, this is just one massive domino effect that goes around and around and around. Also here in Las Vegas, for example, they have conferences. Conferences are where people network, where people be, are able to find jobs to actually get employment and get income so that they can circulate that money back into the economy. They earn the income and then they go and set, spend it on things like Apple iPhones and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So an impact on economy which affects the earnings. So right now what's going on is people are pricing in the impact of earnings right now which is causing a major drop off in the stock market. And this leads us to our second thing which is basically adding fuel to the fire. No pun intended but it's oil. So the oil industry Sunday night decided to announce that Saudi Arabia is going to increase the amount of oil being produced doing a price cut in on top of that. Russia wants to reduce the amount of market share that the US has. The US of course wants more market share. and. 
All of this is going on during the worst possible time, which is because nobody wants to travel, which means airlines, cruise ships, taxi services, people going public places. All of this requires some one product, which is oil. And if nobody's buying oil, or as much as they usually do, the oil industry is taking a huge hit on top of this huge debacle that's going on. And so because of this, Everybody's freaking out, everybody's selling, which also led to the Dow Jones dropping 2,000 points on Monday, which was a record. So all of that was fun. Now, the third and final thing, which has nothing to do with the first two things, but kind of also does, which is in the US, it's an election year. Okay, It always has an impact on the economy because nobody knows how the next president or the current president will affect the economy in the next term. So all of that said, that is the negative effects on the stock market. Okay, so now it's time for the fun part, which is me going into my portfolio and the effects that this is having on it. Now, as I said, I want this video to be, I want this channel to be as transparent as possible when it comes to investing in the stock market. I want people to see from start to finish how it is that a portfolio can shift. Now, not saying that my portfolio is perfect by any means, but I do want you guys to be able to see what's going on. The changes, the impacts of different moves, I want everything to be transparent. Uh, and I hope you guys appreciate that. If you do, smash that like button. I mean, that always helps. Uh, so let's go ahead and look into this. So on the screen, you could see some of the history of my portfolio on specific days. So the first date I'm showing you is the first of the year. And I had exactly $6,676.24 in my portfolio at that time. Now, it reached a high on February 19th. I hit my all-time high of $11,988.23. I was up exactly 80%. Okay, now on March 10th, I was at $9,014, up 35% year to date. Now, right now, I'm showing you guys the positions that I have in my portfolio. The first one I'm going to show you guys is Carnival Cruise Line. It's my newer position. I just couldn't resist buying into it just because of the evaluation that was on it and so I'm not upset about being down I'm down about 19 percent two hundred and fifty eight dollars total and as I said I'm not upset about it it's I'm still wanting to lower my cost basis now the next position that I've just started is Facebook all right, I have four shares in that. I'm down almost 11% and I'm down $85.82. Now we have the golden ticket, which is Tesla. I am up $144 to date and I am up $2,927.85. Now keep in mind, Tesla is one of those stocks that had gone up immensely. So it's gonna take a lot to bring it down to where I'm losing money in it which I don't think it will make it that far, but there's still that possibility, uh, especially with the volatility of the market as it is. But all in all, Tesla is the one thing that's holding my entire portfolio up. And the fourth position is Uber. That was a position that I had felt like I completed. I didn't want to put much more money into it. I was up quite a bit in it, and then it just so happened to drop down. I'm down $42. It's kind of a sad thing, but you know, it could be worse. The reason why I'm showing you my portfolio and why I'm down in some positions and up in another is to show you the importance of diversification. Because when you diversify, it reduces the amount of volatility in your portfolio and can save you from going into the negative in the short term. And finally, three things that I recommend for all of you who are looking into investing during this downward market is first, look into valued companies, try and find the ones that suit you best and buy into them while they are on discount. And the second thing is, is pace yourself when you're buying in. You don't want to use up all your money in the beginning and find out there's another five months of uh, a downward trend in the market. And then third, you know, remain calm. You're in this for the long term. You're not in this for the short term. You're looking years into the future, not today, not tomorrow, not a month, but years. And that's pretty much what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, smash that like button. It helps me get recognized on YouTube. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button over to my right. It's an ugly mug. Looks just like this one. I will see you guys in the next video.